Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the one and only World Improv Network Comedy Show on Mile High Sports Radio. Take part in the show by giving your suggestions or questions to the cast for each show segment throughout the week or live during the show by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, on Twitter at World Improv Net, or by calling in to Mile High Sports Radio Studio Line. Now, enjoy the show. <laughs> It's local. It's global. You're listening to Win World Local News. Win World Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smith. Breaking news into the Win World Local News sports desk from Win Sports reporter Happy Hank, who's in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, for the 2016 Honey Stinger Honey Bee Wrangling Championships. How's the competition, Happy? <laughs> I tell you what, it's pretty hilarious. We've got about 300 naked people running through the forest, getting stung like crazy. And what they got, they gotta have a roll of duct tape on them and wrap that that big old honey basket that they make, those bees make a honey basket and they wrap it in duct tape to make sure the bees don't come out and sting them more. And at the end, we count up the bee stings. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> I got stung in my left eyeball and I'm bleeding, <laughs> but I don't care. It's fun and it's cold. So the ice just helps. The ice up here helps, helps the pain. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to go bury myself now in a hot tub full of ice. <laughs> wow. Wow, I hope you make it out around happy. Please, please don't don't get hurt too bad. Well, on to our next top story, which is brought to us by wind contributor Danny of Highlands Ranch, Colorado. The 2016 holiday season of caring and unity is in full swing. Justin Bieber is promoting the Best Fiends game app for AIDS awareness. Muslim Trump supporters are marrying and having children. And President Obama is hosting a Christmas cultural pajama jam at an abandoned amusement park in Chicago. What other gracious acts of holiday unity may we see as Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Christmas near? Well... To unwrap the, unwrap the gifts of this story, let's go live to win holiday correspondent Jesus Santa, who's in Woodstock, New York, with all the peace and love details. Uh, Mr. Santa? Si, Soprano, it's a Jesus Santa here, ho, 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 and me Woodstock, yes. We in a big festival of peace, caring, and we love. Right now I have in front of me the world famous film maker. He likes to make a documentaries. And right now he wants to make a movie about why people should get together in unity and love each other and other brothers. It's uh, Michael Moore. Welcome to the show. Tell me a little bit, Michael, why are you here in Woodstock and what kind of film are you making? Well, <laughs> today I will I will make a film about dogs being in love with kittens and uh, cats. Oh, so great. You will say that the dog you like the kittens because that's the biggest enemy on planet Earth. And if they can come together, then anybody can come together, right, Michael? Well, yes. I mean, of course. I mean, uh, wolves, wolves started the dull dog thing. <laughs> and, and cats came from lions. So why can't we have a dog cat and, and, and party? <laughs> oh, why you tell me a little bit more about the film or can you not tell me what's in the film? Can you tell us a little bit more specific of uh, how these loving dogs and kitty cats are going to be on the film? Well, yes, it starts with an emotional scene on a ship in the middle of the Pacific and they get into the Bermuda Triangle and one cat gets bitten on the neck by a dog and they fall in love after they both drown. And they become ghosts, and they come back onto the ship, and oh. they fall in love, and then someone comes and marries them, and it is you, Jesus Santa, that marries them. You are the priest. Oh, my goodness. Me going be a priest? Yes. Oh, my goodness. I want to do the ceremony. When do I have my scene? When is my scene in the film? Your scene is going to be 
in like an hour. Oh, okay. Well, then I have to get the makeup and make sure I get prepared and make me make me hair nice and my nails nice and make sure to get the robe so I can look good when I marry the doggy and the cat ghost. So I make sure I do that for you, Michael. I see you back in a little bit. And now back to you, Potter. Wow, Jesus. Sounds like you're taking a bigger part than just a correspondent. Well done. Well, on to our next breaking story, which is brought to us by wind contributor Manny from Fargo, North Dakota. From Standing Rock to Cannonball, North Dakota, thousands of protesters are lining up to blast a hole in the construction efforts of the Dakota Access Oil Pipeline. Why are protesters protesting the world's favorite and most sacred liquid, and what do they want? To get these answers and more, let's go live to win protest reporter Paul Watson, who's on the ground in Cannonball City, North Dakota. Paul? Hi, I'm, I'm here. I'm, uh, I'm kind of nervous being here now, and I, I don't know, I, I mean, I, 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 I'm scared. I'm very scared. There's people chanting, uh, I think they're chanting, I, I think they're chanting for me to talk. A hey, reporter guy, I want to talk to you right now. Yes, sir. First of all, I want to say the reason why we's protesting up here in North Dakota is because of sacrilegious to be digging up them their dinosaur sort sore bones. It took them millions of years to turn it all, and now we just running their their souls right through our cars into our plastic bottles. That ain't right. You're right, but how would we have our Tupperware then? We wouldn't have Tupperware without oil. You're selfish. You're just a selfish guy. Well, hold on a second. They can make a the Tupperware out of tofu these days. And besides, let me tell you something else. I used to run my car off of oil, and now I burn corn. I used to lube my toenails and my private parts with oil. But now I got whale blubber, so heck, who the hell needs oil this day anyway? I kind of agree, but I, I, I'm, I'm just, I, the, they're just so loud up here. I, I, I mean, it's, well, actually, okay. E Salute the pipe. God, that's some solidarity going up there. I hope it all turns out well for you, Paul. Well, now for a look at the global weather, let's check in with Daffodil Downpour, who's grooving to some heady beats in the rain at the Dublin Electronic Dance Festival. How's the Irish weather in the EDM, Daffodil? Oh, I love the weather here. It's just beautiful. And I, I just love the all the... Wow, there goes another person. They just They just passed out from another... Hit of Molly! <laughs> I just think it's so fun to watch them hit their heads. And I mean there's there's more blood coming out of their ears than than they're dancing, but hey, what is EDM? EDM wouldn't be EDM without a little bit of blood. <laughs> I swear. Oh, and one thing I do like this new DJ. He gets so crazy that up oh, Wow! Oh my god! My ear just my eardrum just popped! And my ear's bleeding too! And I didn't even fall over from passing out from Molly! It's just unreal! In fact, I just painted my face with with my own blood! And I'm painting big hearts on my cheeks right now! And oh my god! I'm bleeding everywhere! Yes! Wow, I hope you make it out alive there. Daffodil, please, please make it back. Thank you for that excellent reporting on the weather. And thank you all for tuning in to Wind World Local News on Mile High Sports Radio. I'm Potter Smith. Stay tuned for Community Court next on the World Improv Network.
Give the WinCast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or by calling into the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break for a case that needs to be tackled during community court. Next on Mile High Sports Radio. 